Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my skincare routine. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I talk a lot about routines here on my channel and having a productive routine, developing healthy and good habits for success, for personal growth, to just get through life. And so I believe that putting self-care first before you start going out and taking care of others or taking care of your business is really healthy and it's going to help motivate you to continue to hustle, to continue to grind for what you want. And you come first, your health comes first. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of products here. Now this is the routine that I normally do at night. And during the day I take out some things. So like I won't apply a serum in the morning. I do that at night. Usually in the morning, I'll just cleanse, I'll tone, and I'll moisturize, and I'm done. But this is kind of like all the products that I use, and I can apply them to the morning as well, but there's just so many products that I don't really necessarily have to do all of them at night and in the morning. So these are the ones that I really do at night. And I don't have a mask in the skincare routine because I do masks only like once a week, and so I'll probably share that in another video, maybe on my, my night routine video, but this is just mainly the skincare routine, the products that have helped me throughout the years. I do have acne prone and dry skin, normal to dry. I don't have acne as much anymore. What I have now is just like breakouts here and there, and they're mostly either hormonal or because, or because of stress. So they're, they're, it's acne that I can control. It's not severe acne. So if you do have severe acne or any kind of skin in general, I recommend going to a dermatologist first and he'll tell you or she'll tell you what you really need to know about your skin. And then that'll help you then know what products to use. I also believe that going out and buying all these expensive brands of skincare it's not really beneficial to you if you really do have a lot of problematic areas. Once you are already at a point where you are satisfied with your skin and you have gotten rid of all the problematic areas that you have, then you can go and invest in some glamorous products because what they do is basically is glamorize skincare. And if you are trying to really fix something about your skin, I don't think any of those products are really gonna help you. Like for example, Glam Glow masks don't really I believe don't really do anything for your skin if you do have like breakouts, acne, if you have like a lot of blackheads, if you have pigmentation. I don't think they do that much for your skin if you really have a lot of problems. So those brands are hyped, but it's not that they don't work for people. It's just that they work better for the people that are already, you know, kind of good with their skin. But if you have problems and things about your skin that you really want to fix, I recommend using natural products, getting the 100% properties that you need directly on your skin because over the long term, these are the products that are going to help you. All the products that I talk about are very inexpensive. They are definitely affordable and you can purchase them on Amazon and I'm going to link all of them in the description down below so that you can go ahead and purchase them if you're interested. I really recommend all of these products. I am telling the truth about all of them. These have helped me immensely. So yeah, let me cut the chit chat and let's get started. And if you guys notice, I have a different setup. I think I'm going to have this setup for just the regular videos and then my coffee talks. I'm going to have my other setup where I have my shelves in the back. I'm just kind of, you know, work with me, okay? I'm just trying to find and trying to be creative because, you know, that's also what I talk a lot about here on my channel, trying to be the most creative that you can be. So that's what I'm doing. The first thing that I do, obviously, is remove my makeup. I used to use the Garnier Micellar, Micellar Water, but, and I love it, I still do, but I have learned that using a cleansing oil helps, is, more, is way more effective at removing your makeup because oil attracts oil so it's way more effective at removing it you know after a long day you have all these oils in your face whether it's from the makeup or from your actual skin you've produced all these oils during the day or overnight and the best way to remove all of that is with oil and it's all scientific stuff but basically just know that oil attracts oil and instead of getting all these expensive cleansing oils that i see like i know about the clinique one but it's just like this small bottle and and they're so expensive and coconut oil is an amazing product like it's amazing so what i did was i went to bj's and i got this big container of coconut oil and I put it in these little mason jars because I do use coconut oil sometimes to cook. So I separate the coconut oil that I use for my face. 
Now you have to make sure that you get cold pressed. Cold press kind of just means that it's the most original. It's the most original version of the coconut oil. So it's like the very organic 100% coconut oil. So I just put it in this little mason jar and I take a little bit with my hands. I just kind of melt it with my fingers and then I start rubbing all over my face. And I really do highly suggest that you close your eyes as tight as you can while you're applying this on your face because once coconut oil gets in your eyes, you're screwed. It's like you can't see, it burns, it's just horrible. So make sure that you're really closing your eyes while doing this. And I just keep doing this until I feel that I have gotten enough out of enough of the makeup off. Now, water does not remove coconut oil or any kind of oil at all. So what I do is with the coconut oil still on my face, I start cleansing. I use the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. This helps even your skin tone. It removes all the dirt and oil. So I Think, I feel like this is like a second removal for your makeup. It's awesome. It's not a scrub, but it's just a regular cleanser. Aveeno is a really good product for dry skin. It's, it's just amazing. Dermatologists recommend this brand all the time. It is a little pricey, but it's just, you can get it at any drugstore. And it is really, 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 really good. I've used Aveeno for years. So I just take this and I rub it all over my, I rub it all over my face. And then I just obviously rinse everything with water. And then you'll notice that the coconut oil does come off that way. After I'm, after I'm finished removing the cleanser with the coconut oil, I cleanse one more time so that the cleanser is directly cleansing my face without the oil in the way. And so once I do this for the second time, I then exfoliate. Now I only exfoliate twice a week. I know a lot of people use the Clarisonic brush or those brush brushes that you can cleanse with. People use those brushes to cleanse so that you're kind of like exfoliating and cleansing at the same time. But I feel like if, you, if I buy that, I'd use it every day and you're not supposed to exfoliate your face every day. That's over exfoliating. So you're basically, yeah, you're removing the dead skin cells, but then you're also removing your healthy skin cells and you're, you get dry skin, you might break out. Obviously, everybody has different skin types, so tough skin, you can definitely handle the, that brush maybe, but for me, I do have sensitive skin, so I stay away from those brushes. And so all, what I do is I just use a scrub twice a week to exfoliate. And so if I am gonna exfoliate that day, I'll use this L'Oreal mask. It's a mask, but you can also use it as a scrub. And so basically, it's just a clay mask. Sometimes I leave it as a mask, sometimes I don't, but Really any scrub will do. I, I don't recommend getting a really cheap scrub, but just look into it and see what scrub is the best. And I just find this that this is, you know, really, really gentle on my skin. And when I exfoliate, I don't really, I'm not really as, I'm not harsh on my skin. I don't press on my skin because the scrub is already doing its work. So all I do is I just move it around my face. I rinse it off, pat dry my skin. And the next thing is to tone your face. I feel like a lot of people skip this step and I used to definitely skip this step when I was younger. Toning your face is so important. I use the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula, the rose. It's, it comes from the rose and it's so, 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 so good for your skin. A lot of people use this. Almost all reviews, 99% of the reviews are like, they are all for it. This has helped a lot of people with their skin all different kinds of skin types. It's an alcohol-free toner, and so it's very gentle on your skin. It smells great, and what I do is I just take one of these cotton pads, and then I just pat it all over my skin, down my neck. By the way, I, everything that I do on this step, I also apply it to my neck, because that's where we show signs of aging, and I do break out around my neck, like right here, where I do apply makeup sometimes, so it's very important to not forget about your neck. This one, you can definitely get it on Amazon. Everything here, you can get it on Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below. But basically like a rose water, and rose water is very good for your face, whether you have acne, dry skin, oily skin, it's really good. And so I tone my face with this. It helps restore the pH balance in your face. It helps also ensure that you have removed all the oil and dirt and makeup off of your face. When I tone, it's like checking that I actually removed all my makeup. And when I look at the cotton pad, I find that either I have a little bit of makeup left or just regular dirt from my face. It's amazing, like toning is a very important step. Do not skip it. Now, just like exfoliating, I don't do spot treatments every day. 
because they do dry up your skin because usually spot, tri spot treatments are for acne. I use this Peter Thomas Roth Acne Spot and Area Treatment. It, it's not irritating. It's very, very gentle on the skin because it has aloe vera, vitamin C, and vitamin E. It has a lot of vit vitamins, but it can still dry your skin anyways if you use it too much. So I only do this two times a week. But if I am going to spot treat, like this big pimple right here that I have, I just put a little bit on it and then I let this sit for like five to ten minutes because spot treatments have to be directly on your face and then if you put something right on top of it after like right after it's gonna take away the effect so you have to just let it sit let it dry and then you'll be good so once I finish doing that I apply my serum and I'm using the retinol serum it retinol is another anti-aging property serum also has to be directly on the skin so that's why you do this after you tone and so I just put a little bit like about two dot two drops and I pat it all over my face. Now, serum is not an oil. People confuse that sometimes. It's a water-based product, so it can be a little drying on the skin. That's why you do this before you moisturize. Applying a serum is just basically a way to get all the properties that you need for your face directly on your skin. And retinol is a very, very, very important ingredient to, for anti-aging and you know hydration and everything everything retinol is another amazing product after the serum is where i would apply my eye cream and i use the neutrogena healthy skin eye cream multivitamin treatment and all i do is that i just pat it around like right under my eye sometimes in on my eyelids and what it helps it just helps like like visibly reduce the appearance of like the fine lines under under your eyes and not really, it doesn't help really with the bags or anything, but it does help hydrate, so I like that. You can either apply an oil or a moisturizer, but I like to apply both, because they both hydrate your skin, but if you're using an oil that is, yeah, you're using it for something specifically, then I do recommend having the oil separately and then after moisturizing. So I use this rose hip seed oil. It's another great oil that contains a lot of different properties, anti-aging properties. Helps tone the skin, reduce wrinkles, um, reduce inflammation, redness, everything. Make sure that you get 100% organic rose hip seed oil. Make sure that if you're any, getting any oil, that it's 100% organic. And then the last step is moisturizing. And what moisturizing does is just basically locks everything in. You might think that you don't need to hydrate anymore, but moisturizing just basically keeps that hydration in. So what I do is, of course, my holy grail, I use my daily moisturizing lotion from Avino. And what I do is I just put a little bit, like a dime size on my fingers, and then I apply tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is really good for people who have acne, but unlike the other oils, you cannot apply this directly onto your skin. It's very, very, very drying. It's very, very, very power powerful. So you have to either mix this with water or a moisturizer. And so that's what I do. I just put like two drops into the moisturizer. I mix it and then that's what I do. I pat it all over my skin, down my neck, everything. And yeah, guys, that is my skincare routine. As you notice, there's a lot of natural products in here because I truly believe that nature and things that people have used over the years back in the day like are the really good products for your skin. It has helped me. And like I said, I have dry skin and I do break out here and there. But, and I have like pigment, like I have different kinds of pigmentation and scarring. But I can truly tell you that using these kinds of products has really helped me over the years. My skin has gotten way better and I'm able to control my skin now. After going to the dermatologist, I know now what my skin needs. So everyone has a different skin type. So I recommend first going to a dermatologist to see what you need. Basically what he told me is that the majority of my acne is, is just hormonal. So it's something that I can definitely control and that over the years it'll get better. But I do like to focus on like evening my skin tone and the redness. Remember that you gotta take care of yourself and then you can take care of your business. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I do videos on personal growth and lifestyle videos every week here on my channel. So if you're interested in that, consider hitting the post notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. Other than that, thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.